Hi everybody, welcome to another Yarn Scrap Friday and today I'm going to show you how to make a donut. And to make this little donut we're going to be using some DK light worsted weight yarn but you can use any yarn uh, weight that you like. I've chosen a sort of uh, beigey, creamy, brownie colour for the base and then for the icing you can use it white or any colour you like but I'm, this time I'm going to use like a sort of light blue and then you need some colours for the little sprinkles so I'm going to use a darker blue and a green for the sprinkles for this donut. So that's some DK light worsted weight yarn and we're going to be using with that yarn a three millimetre crochet hook and you're also going to need a pair of scissors and a yarn needle and you're going to need some toy stuffing as well but you can use yarn scraps um, for stuffing as well if you want to. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so we're going to take our brownie coloured yarn to begin and our three millimetre crochet hook and you can use any yarn weight that you like and any hook that is suitable for the yarn you're using. And um, so do, do experiment to see if you get different sized donuts. Uh, first thing to do is we are going to work 16 single crochet foundation stitches. So don't, don't be too scared if you're new to the foundation stitch. To do that we're going to start off by chaining two. Okay. So chain one, then chain two. And what we're going to do is we're going to put our hook into our first chain. So we're going to find our first chain, just pop our hook into our first chain. And then we're going to bring the yarn through. But then what we're going to do is we're going to br bring the yarn through, so yarn over, bring the yarn through that first loop, like so. And that effectively creates our little foundation chain. And then what we're going to do is do the single crochet. So we yarn over again and pull through both loops to do the single crochet. And what we've now got on the left there is a little stitch. And it's into that stitch we want to put our hook. So what we're going to do is find that little stitch and I'm putting it under one loop and then moving it over to find the little second loop. So you're going under two bits of yarn. We're going to do the same thing again. We're going to bring the yarn through that stitch to bring it through. And then we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to create our foundation chain. So bring the yarn through and put it through the first loop only. And you can see that creates another stitch, foundation stitch. And then we're going to do our single crochet as normal. So yarn over, pull through both loops. And then we do the same thing again. We're going to put our hook through that second stitch on the side now. And I've done a video in more detail of the single crochet foundation stitch which goes a little bit slower so I'll put a link to that in the description if you want to check that out. So now we've gone through that second stitch on the side we're going to bring our yarn through and we're going to yarn over, pull through the first loop again, just the first loop to do that little foundation chain and then we do our single crochet as normal. Put it through both loops. And now we've got our third stitch. You can see there was our first one, there was our second one, and there's our third one. And we've created one, two, three single crochet foundation stitches. And we need 16 of these. So I'm going to carry on doing this until I've got 16. So I'm going to go through that third side stitch now. Just going under two bits of yarn, bring my yarn through, then create the next foundation chain, just putting it through the first loop only, and then yarn over and do the single crochet, pull through both loops. And now I've got four, one, two, three, four, and you can see we've created four stitches there. There's the first one, one, there's the second one, two, there's the third one, there's the fourth one. Okay, so just carry on doing that until you've got 16 now I'll put it through the fourth one. Okay. 
Okay, so just finishing up with the last one, the 16th one, and I'm just going into that side stitch on the left one more time. Bring the yarn through, pull through the first loop only, and then pull through both the loops. And you should now have 16 single crochet foundation stitches. And what we want to do is we want to slip stitch into our first one. So what we need to do is you need to make sure that that's, these stitches on the left hand side which you are working into they need to be at the bottom and these are the stitches that we now want to work into so what we need to do is we need to make sure that we're crocheting into these ones on the right hand side so we're just going to turn our work so that these stitches are at the top okay so these right hand side stitches this side I'm going to turn it so they're at the top like so and making sure your yarn is at the back like so we are just going to bend this round and find our first cro single crochet foundation stitch okay so we're going to ignore the little chain two one two and find that first proper stitch we're going to put our hook in there into that stitch and because you've got you've kept your yarn at the back it's nicely accessible to bring through if you get your tail end that way. <laughs> so there we go. So and then you can just pull that through the stitch and then straight through the loop on your hook. So you're doing a slip stitch. And now your foundation stitches are joined at the beginning and the end. And you should still have a stitch count of 16 as well. So now we're going to move on to the next round and we're going to do a little increase round. We're not going to chain one at the beginning or slip stitch at the end or anything like that. We're just going to work continually like a snail's shell. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do two single crochet in the next stitch. So we're going to go straight into the next stitch and do two single crochet. So one and go back into the same stitch and do another one. So you've got two in there. And then in the next stitch, we are going to do one single crochet. So we're just going to do one single crochet by itself, just the one. Okay, so we're going to repeat this round, doing two single crochet in the next stitch, then one single crochet, then two single crochet, one single crochet, back to the beginning. You might want to put a little stitch marker. Um, alternatively, you can just count up to 24, because we're going to be make, moving our stitch count up to 24. So you've done two single crochet, then one single crochet. Then in the next stitch, we're going to do two single crochet. One and another one in the same stitch. And then we're going to do one single crochet in the next stitch, just the one. So, so far we've done one, two, three, four, five, six, then seven and eight in the next stitch. Two in there, seven and eight in the same stitch. Then nine by itself, one single crochet in the next stitch by itself, nine. Then ten and eleven in the next stitch. Ten and eleven in the same stitch. Then twelve, one single crochet by itself. Thirteen and fourteen in the next stitch. Two single crochet. Then fifteen by itself. Just one single crochet by itself. Fifteen. Then sixteen and seventeen in the next stitch. One and another one. Sixteen and seventeen. Then eighteen by itself. 19 and 20 in the next stitch. 19 and 20, these are all single crochets. Then 21 by itself. 21, then 22 and 23 in the next stitch. And 23. And then we finish up with just one single crochet, which is our 24th. And that's actually going to go into your slip stitch from the previous round, which is right on the, the join, 24. So you still have a stitch count now of 24, okay? Okay, so you should have a stitch count now of 24. 
I'm going to do another increase round and this time we're going to start off with the same again in the next stitch you're going to go straight into the next stitch and do two single crochet two single crochet in that next stitch one and another one in the same stitch two so you've got two in there but this time we're going to do one single crochet in the next two so we're going to go into the next stitch and do one single crochet by itself then we're going to go into the next stitch and do one single crochet by itself Okay. so we're going to repeat that, we're going to do two single crochet in the next stitch one and another one in the same stitch and then we do one single crochet in the next two so we do one single crochet in the next stitch and we do one single crochet in the next stitch so repeat that round doing two single crochet one single crochet, one single crochet two single crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet okay that's the beginning and you should end up with a stitch count of 32 30 31 by itself in the next stitch ending on 32 by itself in the next stitch so you want to make sure you end on those one single crochet in the next two. Okay, so you should now have a stitch count of 32. And then we're going to do one more increase round, so it's the same thing again. We're going to start off with two single crochet in the next stitch, go straight into the next stitch. We don't join the end of the round or anything. So two single crochet in the next stitch, and then this time we're going to do one single crochet in the next three. So do one single crochet in the next stitch by itself, one single crochet in the next stitch by itself, one single crochet in the next stitch by itself and then we go back to doing two single crochet then we do one single crochet in the next three, one two three then two single crochet in the next stitch then one single crochet in the next three back to the beginning repeating that pattern until you've got a stitch count of 40 36 and 37 in the same stitch Thirty-eight, thirty-nine, and the last stitch, forty, and then we're back at the beginning. Okay, so you should now have a stitch count of forty. Then what we're going to do now is we're going to do three rounds of just one single crochet in each stitch around. We do no increases. You just want to do one single crochet into each stitch around. So you've still got a stitch count of 40 and you want to do that for three rounds. So you literally just want to count to 40 three times. Okay, just one single crochet in each stitch around. Two, so I'm going to do that and then I shall come back. Eight, 39 and 40. Okay, so I've done three rounds of just one single crochet in each stitch round. I've still got a stitch count of 40. And you should have something that looks like this. You want to make sure it's bending in this direction. So you've got this on the outside and then this on the inside. I've just tucked the tail end on the inside. And what we want to do now is just to pause there. We're going to pause our donut and just bring up our loop for a bit. And uh, we're going to work on the icing. So choose your icing colour. And for your icing, you want to repeat the first, uh, how many rounds is it? You want to get the stitch count to 32. So you want to repeat the first three rounds that you did here. So you want to do the 16 single crochet foundation stitches again and then join them in that slip stitch. And then do the second round where we did two single crochet, then one single crochet, two single crochet, one single crochet, and our stitch count went up to 24. Then you want to do the third round as well, which is two single crochet, then one single crochet in the next two, then two single crochet, one single crochet in the next two. So your stitch count goes up to 32. So you want to repeat the first one, two, three rounds, the first three rounds of your donut in your icing, for your icing. Okay, so I'm going to start off with our 16 single crochet foundation stitches. Do the same thing again, so chain two, and then we go into our first chain, bring the yarn through, 
got two loops and then we create our little stitch on the left and then we do our single crochet we've got our first single crochet foundation stitch and then we go into that stitch we created on the left do the same thing again bring the yarn through create the little stitch on the left and then do our single crochet. We've got our second one, so we've got 16 of these. And the last one, 16. Okay, so I've got my 16 single crochet foundation stitches again, and we need to make sure the right side is at the top, so I'm going to move that to the top, then bring this round to find my first single crochet, put my hook in there and do a slip stitch. And that completes our first round again, exactly the same as the beginning of the donut. Then we're going to move on to our increase round to get our stitch count up to 24 and to do that we're going to do two single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet, one single crochet, back to the beginning. 22 and 23, same stitch then the last stitch in that slip stitch, 24. So we now have a stitch count of 24, exactly the same as the beginning of our donut. So now we're going to move on to the third round, um, which is going to be two single crochet in the next stitch, then one single crochet, one single crochet, then two single crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet, then two single crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet. Repeat that, we're back to the beginning till we get a stitch count of 32. Okay, so start off with two single crochet, 29 and 30 in the same stitch, and finishing up with 31 in the next stitch, and 32 in the last stitch. So, okay, so we now have a stitch count of 32, so it's exactly the same beginning as the first three rounds of our donut. But what we want to do now for the fourth round is to create the, where's the other donut gone, here we go, create this sort of slightly wobbly edge so it looks a little bit more like icing and to do that we are going to do, you can pretty much do what you like, um, you just need to follow the same pattern really of doing two single crochet in the next, uh, two stitches in the next stitch and then an individual stitch in the next three if you remember from the fourth round of the donuts, and then you go back to having two stitches in the same stitch and then an individual stitch in the next three. And the reason I, I say individual stitches is because you can do single crochets, you can do half double crochets, um, you can do double crochets, but you can follow the same pattern as me. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, I'm actually going to reverse it rather than starting with two stitches in the same stitch. I'm going to do the individual stitches in the next three. So I'm going to do a single crochet in the next stitch and then I'm going to do a half double crochet in the next stitch and then I'm going to do a double crochet in the next stitch and then I need to do a couple of stitches in the same stitch so I'm going to come back down and do I'm going to do a double crochet in the next stitch and I'm also going to do a half double crochet in the same stitch. Half double crochet. You can see that's created it going up and then it's starting to come down again. Then I'm going to do um, a single crochet in the next stitch and I'm going to do a single crochet in the next stitch. And then I'm going to do another single crochet in the next stitch. So three single crochets. Then I'm going to do a half double crochet in the next stitch. But I'm also going to do a double crochet in the same stitch. Okay. And then I'm going to do a double crochet in the next stitch bring it back down and then I'm going to do a half double crochet in the next stitch half double crochet then I'm going to do a single crochet in the next stitch 
then I need to have a couple of stitches in the same stitch so I'm going to do two single crochet in the next stitch one and another one in the same stitch then I'm going to do a half double crochet in the next stitch then I'm going to do a half double crochet in the next stitch then I'm going to do a single crochet in the next stitch okay, so there's our three and then I need to think of two in the next stitch so I'm going to do a couple of double crochets in the next stitch so two double crochets in the next stitch one and another one in the same stitch then I'm going to do another double crochet in the next stitch and then I'm going to do a half double crochet in the next stitch then I'm going to do a single crochet in the next stitch so you can really play with what stitches you want to do just creating this by going up using bigger stitches and coming down using smaller stitches you create a wobbly effect on the edge and as long as you follow the pattern of doing um, an individual stitch in the next three and then two stitches in the next stitch as per the fourth round of the donut then you should be fine and what am I up to now? I'm not sure where I got to now so I've done a half double crochet and a single crochet so I'm going to do a I think I need to do a couple of stitches now so I'm going to do a single crochet and a half double crochet in the next stitch like so and then I'm going to do a double crochet in the next stitch and then I'm going to do a double crochet in the next stitch so I'm going to do a double crochet in the next stitch and then I'm going to do a double crochet and a half double crochet in the next stitch so double crochet and a half double crochet in the same stitch like so then I'm going to do a single crochet in the next stitch and a single crochet in the next stitch then I'm going to do a half double crochet in the next stitch so it's one two three and then I think of two so I'll do a half double crochet and a single crochet in the same stitch half double crochet and a single crochet and then I'm going to do a single crochet in the next stitch and a half double crochet in the next stitch and a half double crochet in the next stitch Oops. and then I'm up to the last stitch and I'm going to do I think I should do a half double crochet and a single crochet in the same stitch okay so that's that round finished okay so once you have your icing and you should have a stitch count of 40 now um, if you've been following the same pattern as the fourth round on here you can just start off with doing the like on the fourth round here we did two single crochet then we did the one single crochet in the next three I reversed it and I did one single crochet in the next three then the two single crochet so but as long as you've been following that pattern you should have a stitch count of 40 uh, using a mixture of smaller stitches and bigger stitches to create a wavy edge so what we're going to do now is we're going to cut our yarn we're going to leave a little bit of a tail for sewing, fairly long tail and we're going to just pull that through and the first thing to do is we're going to sew this, neaten up this tail end here this beginning tail end to do that and I'm just going to sew it over to level it off and then move it to the back so it creates some more neater edge and then we can just hide it on the back like so. And you don't need to cut it because you can use it as stuffing. 
And uh, okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to work on the sprinkles. I know we seem to be like skipping ahead and then going back, but it's just to make your um, life easier for sewing. So what we're going to do now is create some sprinkles. And to do that, we're going to get two different colours. I'm going to choose a darker blue and a green, sort of a lime green. And we're going to take a couple of short lengths, about that much, of each colour. Okay. And it's really easy. All we do is thread it onto our yarn needle and then making sure you've got the right side. So this is going to be the wrong side with our tail end. That's going to be our right side. Coming from behind, so coming from the back, we're going to sew one of our threads on, leave a little bit of a tail. And then we're just going to sew over slightly, like so, and then that creates a sprinkle. And then we do the same thing again just go round coming from the back and then go in perhaps a different direction and you're just creating little lines that look like sprinkles. I'm going to do that all the way round and I'm going to do it with the other colour as well until I've got some little sprinkles sewn on. I'm not sure why you can see that on camera. So there we go. So I'm going to do that and I shall show you what it looks like at the end. Okay, so I've repeated that for the other colour as well and then when you get back to the beginning you can just take your tail ends and just tie them to secure them on the back. Do a little double knot. I'm sure you've got more time you can do a neater job than me. I'm just going to trim down the excess just so it doesn't get in the way. Okay, so now we've got our little sprinkles or whatever design you want to do. You could also sew some lengths to make it look like more icing going like that if you want to do, or you could do crisscrosses or whatever you fancy. I've chosen little sprinkles. Then what we're going to do is we're going to sew this onto, we're going to sew this part, the smallest part, onto the smallest part of here. This is why we've paused the donut here because it makes sewing a lot easier. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our tail end, sew it onto, thread it onto our yarn needle, and at the moment it's at the top. So what we're going to do is, and I've made a big boo boo here because I've actually sewn my tail end <laughs> into my sprinkles. So made a bit of a boo boo. Okay, so what we're going to first of all do is just go into the next stitch to neaten off the edge, like so. Then I want to get it to the middle, so I'm actually going to sew it over, neatly as I can, to the smaller circle, just to get my tail in down there, like so. So now I'm working on this smaller circle here. And you basically just literally want to sew this onto this smaller circle onto this circle. So I'm going to go through a stitch on the donut. Be careful not to sew in your tail end here, like so. And it can be a little bit fiddly. You can fold it like that. Make sure you get your tail ends on the right side. I'm going to go over to the next stitch on the donut, then up through the next stitch on the icing. And then go down onto the next stitch of the icing, and then up through the next stitch on the donut. So continue this all the way round until you've sewn on your tail ends out the way. So you've sewn on this part of the icing. Okay. And I'll come back and show you what to do next. Okay, so when you finish sewing that to the donut, this part on of the sewing of the icing, we want to then get our yarn back to the top. So I'm just going to thread it up to the top stitches now as neatly as I can. <laughs> there we go not to tie in any of your donut ends. And there we go. Then we want to flatten this over, tail ends out of the way, 
flatten this over your donut and then simply really making sure not to get those tail ends in the way. We will now want to sew this edge to the donut as neatly as you can. It's so literally just going into the main donut. And because we haven't finished our donut, it makes sewing a lot easier. Okay, so I'm just literally sewing this now onto the donut. Okay, so when you finish sewing on your icing, it should look something like that, and you can just leave a tail end for stuffing or you can just trim it down if you want to. And now we're going to carry on with the rest of our donuts. So all we want to do now is to decrease our little donuts. So what we're going to do, the first thing to do is we're going to single crochet the next two stitches together. So we're going to go into the next stitch and pull through, stop, and go into the next stitch and pull through. So we've got three loops, yarn over, pull through all three loops and that single crochets two stitches together and then we're going to do just one single crochet in the next three so we're going to go into the next stitch and do one single crochet then we're going to the next stitch and do one single crochet and then we're going to the next stitch and do one single crochet so it's similar to our increase rounds but instead of doing two single crochet we single crochet two together so we're going to repeat that again, we're going to do single crochet the next two together. So we go into the next stitch, pull through, stop. Go into the next stitch, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. And then we do one single crochet in the next three. One, two, next stitch, three. And then again we go back to doing single crochet two together. like so and then we do one single crochet in the next three so we repeat this around until we get a stitch count back down to 32 36 37 crochet together 38 39 and 40 so you still count up to 40 on that round but your stitch count has now gone down to 32. So what we're going to do now is a similar thing. We're going to start off by single crocheting two together. One and two. But then this time we're just going to do one single crochet in the next two. So one and the next stitch. Okay. One single crochet in the next two, and then we single crochet two together again. So we just repeat it. Single crochet two together, then one single crochet in the next two. One and two. Okay. And then by the end of that round, once you've repeated that, your stitch count should go down to 24. 29 and 30 crochet together. Then 31. And 32. Okay, and our stitch count should now have gone down to 24. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do one more decrease round. We're going to start off by single crocheting two together, but then this time we just do one single crochet in the next stitch, just the next one, and then we go back to single crocheting two together. Single crochet two together and then one single crochet in the next stitch. So repeat this round doing single crochet two together, one single crochet, single crochet two together, one single crochet until you've got a stitch count of 16. Okay, 22 and 23 crochet together and then the last one 24. Okay, so we've counted up to 24 but our stitch count has now gone down to 16. And then we just want to finish up on doing two rounds of just one single crochet in each stitch around, keeping a stitch count of 16. Okay, so I'm going to count to 16 twice. Two rounds, just one single crochet in each stitch around for two rounds. 15, 
and 16. Okay, so I've done two rounds of just one single crochet in each stitch around. I've done that for two rounds. I've still got a stitch count of 16. It just should look a little something like that. Now what you want to do is, leaving a little bit of a tail for sewing, cut your yarn. That was lucky because I was severely running out of yarn. And just bring that through. And this is the bit that gets a little bit fiddly. This is why I wanted, I suggested doing the um, icing first and getting that all sewn on. Makes it a bit, little bit less stressful. So get those tail ends on the inside. Um, what you need to do is you need to sew this end to this end. So they need to meet on the inside. So if you flatten your work down, the things you need to stuff it at the same time. So what we're going to do is we're just going to flatten it down so those two small circles meet. And then we're just going to sew a little bit. So first of all, I'm just going to sew over to the next stitch just to bring that down, just to neaten it off. And then I need to find, making sure it's roughly sewn in the same direction. So there, and we're going to go in on the inside as best as you can come out on the brown. Try and avoid going for the icing so they begin to get sewn together. Okay, can you see that? And then go over to the next stitch as neatly as you can and then come up on the top. Okay. And then I'm going to go down the next stitch and come out on the bottom. What you want to do is just sew a little bit at a time through the brown, come up to the top, go over to the next stitch, and then come down, like so. So you're creating, you want to do a little bit at a time so it's just joined in one place and then stuff as you go, because it could be quite fiddly. Okay, so you should have sewn a little bit there, joined it there and there, and you should still be able to get into the inside of the donut. And then what you want to do is get a little bit of stuffing. And get some scissors, which I find really helps with stuffing, and then just get that stuffed on the inside. Like so. Okay, so get that on the inside and then push it with your scissors into the area that you've sewn. Okay, just doing that a little bit at a time. And then do a little bit more sewing. Going over to the next stitch. It can be very fiddly to see more than anything. I have tried designing this a different way, but this gives the neat effect on the outside, so where's our next stitch? can't really see it on the top, but there's the next stitch on the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to sew a few more stitches. Coming down from the top, out for the bottom. So a few more stitches. neatly as I can and then add a little bit more stuffing to the bit that I've sewn up and continue doing that all the way around until you've stuffed your donut nice and firm you just move it around like that so it gets into that area so it's nice and firm and, uh, and then I shall come back and show you the finished donut. Okay, so over to the next stitch. Okay, and then when you get towards the end, it's just a case of putting a little bit of stuffing in the open hole and then sewing the remaining gap closed as neatly as you can. So when you're finished, when your hole is all sewn up, I think I've 
sewn that all up then all you want to do is to hide your tail end and to do that we're just going to sew over to somewhere this side it doesn't really matter where and if you're used to my videos you're probably used to hiding your tail ends then go back in where you've come out and go over somewhere else come out for another stitch somewhere that should disappear and then go back in where you came out again come out in another stitch and then just push your project down hold your tail end trim as close as you can and then when your project, project pops back up that should disappear on the inside and if it doesn't you can just poke it in like so and then you just need to shape your donut sort out all that stuffing so it's not too lumpy and there we go there's your little finished donut joined in the middle so there we go so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. You can uh, experiment not only with the colours, you could have chocolate icing, you could just have plain white icing, um, but also you can use, if you use thicker yarn and a bigger hook, you can make bigger donuts like I have here with bigger sprinkles. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I hope you managed to follow along. I'm a bit, bit tired this week, so I really hope that made sense. Um, but I will see you soon for some more crochet fun. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.